Key Stage 3 Level 8 were based on the National Curriculum Level Descriptors. So let's have a little look at data handling or handling data. A bit of revision that you understand the terms median and quartile. So if you have a set of numbers and we want to find the mean, we add them up and divide by how many there are. We want to find the mode, then we need the most popular number. But the median is the middle number after they've been put in order. So the first thing I've got to do is put these in order. So rather than you watch me do this, I might stop the video or the recording of the video and let you join me when I've finished. So now they're in order, we can find the middle number. There are other ways of doing this of course, but this will get us there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's the 7th number. That's the 8th number. So the median is between the 7th and the 8th number, which is 4.5. Now the median is in fact the halfway mark. But we can then split it into the first quarter. And if we look at the numbers here, three numbers there, three numbers there, that number there, the number two, is a quarter of the way along. And we call that the lower quartile. And up here, if we see there's three numbers there and there's three numbers there, that six there is the third quarter. So the lower quartile is the first quarter number, the median is the halfway number, and the upper quartile is the third quarter number. The range is the largest number 8 minus the smallest number 1. The interquartile range is the upper quartile 6 minus the lower quartile 2. All show sure you're working out on these sort of things even if it is that simple. Now to put numbers in order to find the median and the quartiles we could use a stem and leaf diagram. So here's a set of results and we've got to find the median and the quartiles. So we need to put them in order. Now the stem is the tens column. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And the leaf is the units column. So 9 will be there. 49 would be 49, 21 would be 21, 10 would be a 1 and 0, 1, 39, again, I'll carry on with this. So now I've completed the stem and leaf diagram, but the numbers still aren't in order. So actually this needs rewriting, so this reads, instead of 918, it reads as 189. And this, instead of reading 154, reads as 145. So I'll do that. So now we have the numbers in order. We can look for the median. Now we need to think about the position in which the median is found. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There are 23 numbers. Therefore, if you cut 23 in half, you'll have 11, and 11 makes 22, and the 1 there, that adds up to 23. Therefore, the 12th number is the median. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Therefore, that 3, hang on a minute, that 43 is the middle number. Now, if we now consider this 11 as 5, 1, 5... That tells us that the sixth number is the lower quartile. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, hang on a minute, 21, is the lower quartile. So if we do the same here with this 11, think of that as 5, 1 and 5, then 11, 12, 17, 18, the 18th number 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18th number, 5, hang on a minute, 55, is the upper quartile. So a stem and leaf diagram can be used as another way of putting the numbers in order to find the halfway mark, the first quarter mark, and the third quarter mark. The interquartile range will then be the subtraction. And as I said before, always show the working out, no matter how easy this subtraction is. Once you've got the median and the lower and upper quartile, we can show them on what's called a box plot. Well, actually, it depends which book you read, which exam you sit, and which teacher you got, because sometimes they're called box and whisker diagrams, and sometimes they're called box plots. So what I'm going to do now is a box and whisker diagram, or a box plot. The first thing you need is a set of numbers, which I've got here. Let's put them in order. Once they're in order, we can find the median. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers. There are 4 there, 4 there. The fifth one along is the middle number. Therefore, the lower quartile is actually between those two, so that's 2.5, the lower quartile. And the upper quartile is in there between that 5 and that 5, which is 5. So we need a scale, and along the scale it's got to read the lowest number and the highest number, so if I number this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that'll do it. We draw a line at the lowest value, we draw a line at the highest value, we draw a line at the lower quartile, that was two and a half. We draw a line at the upper quartile, that was five. And we draw a line at the median, which is four. This part is called the box, and these are called the whiskers. I like the term box and whisker, because that's what I've got, a box and whiskers. But box plot is the same thing. So on a box plot, you are illustrating the position or the value of the median, the lower quartile, the upper quartile and the overall range as well. Very useful when you would need to compare two sets of results. This is going to be drawing and interpreting cumulative frequency graphs. But before I go into that, let's just revise looking for the median when you use a grouped frequency table. So here's a grouped frequency table about the cost of repairs of motorbikes. Three motorbikes cost between 0 and £30 to repair. Five motorbikes cost between 30 and £60 to repair, or more precisely, between 30 and £60, and it could include £60. This is called the frequency column. If we add this up, 10, 19, 24, 27, it tells you the total number of bikes that were serviced by this company in this test. Now the cumulative frequency column is where we take the first value and we add the next value on. So we go 5, add 3. We go 7, add 8. We go 6, add 17. We go 4, add 27. Sorry, 4, add 23, which is 27. We should end up with the last number the same. If we don't, we've made a silly mistake, so we check it. But what does this mean? This 3 is telling you there were 3 repairs between 0 and £30, included £30. So is that 3 telling you? exactly the same thing. But what about this 8? The 5 is saying 5 repairs cost between 30 and 60 pounds. 
including £60, whereas the 8 is saying there were 8 repairs that cost between 0 and £60.